हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द नेटवर्क थ्योरम दैट इज सुपर पोजिशन थ्योरम लेट्स एगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू सुपर पोजिशन थ्योरम इन एनी लिनियर नेटवर्क द रेस्पॉन्स इन एनी सेगमेंट इज इक्वल टू द आलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ द रेस्पॉन्सेस कॉज्ड बाय इंडिविजुअल सोर्सेस एक्टिंग एलंग फाइल अदर आर नॉन ऑपरेटिव दिस टाइप ऑफ थियोरम इज यूज टू सॉल्व ए नेटवर्क वेयर टू और मोर सोर्सेस आर इन्वॉल्व एंड इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली टू लिनियर नेटवर्क्स वेयर करेंट इज लिनियरली रिलेटेड टू वोल्टेज एज इन केस ऑफ ओम्स लॉ इफ वी प्लॉट द ग्राफ बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करेंट इट विल बी linear if we draw the graph between voltage and current then the graph looks like this from ohms law so the circuits which has linear network and ohms law is obeyed can be solved by using superposition theorem here other ideal voltage sources and ideal current sources in the network are replaced by the short circuit and open circuit across their terminals if we replace if a number of voltage or current sources are acting simultaneously in a linear network then what happen the resultant current in any element is the algebraic sum of the currents that would be produced in it when each sources acts independently replacing all other independent sources by their internal resistances so looking an example of uh, an electrical network Now, how we apply superposition theorem to that network? There will be a network R one, R two, R three, one voltage source. G one positive negative another voltage source B two positive negative. So how to apply superposition theorem? First, consider only one independent source, either voltage or current. and deactivate the other independent voltage or current sources we have to remove the source and short circuit the terminals for voltage sources for current source we simply remove the source keeping the terminals open as we use the voltage source then what happened the tech one voltage source another voltage source as inactive so here r1 r2 r3 this voltage source is inactive only that voltage source is active positive negative v1 so the current through r1 let the current through r1 be what i1 dash r1 b i 1 dash that current is divided 
through R2 and R3 through R2 and R3 so in case of R2 let it will be I2 dash and in case of uh, R3 let it will be I3 dash means I1 dash is equal to I2 dash plus I3 dash again another step repeat the first step for each of the independent sources again we replace it first voltage sources as inactive second voltage sources as active so the network representation positive negative r1 r2 r3 that voltage source is inactive the current through r2 that current b i2 double dash that i2 double dash current is divided through r1 and R3 through R1 through R3 the currents are in case of R1 is I1 double dash and in case of R3 it is I3 double dash I2 double dash current is divided as I1 double dash and I3 double dash look here next step are the currents obtained in step 1 and step 2 if they are in the same direction but if the currents are obtained in opposite direction then subtract the two currents assuming that the direction of currents flowing in clockwise direction to be positive in this way the net current in each branch is obtained here we can use the superposition theorem as in that section r2 here current I2 dash is that direction and in that section R2 here current is just its opposite direction. So in that particular branch if we calculate the current then it will be I2 dash minus I2 double dash with the net current through R2 that is I2. Now mathematically the current I1 dash can be obtained by using Ohm's law the current the current i1 dash can be obtained by using ohms law i1 dash is equal to potential v1 divided by its effective resistance its effective re resistance means r1 is connected with series to the parallel resistances r2 and r3 so r2 r3 r2 r3 divided by r2 plus r3 r2 and r3 are connected in parallel and these effective resistance connected to r1 as series r1 okay similarly similarly i2 dash i2 dash is equal to i1 dash current into resistance that is r3 divided by r2 plus r3 r2 plus r3 and i3 dash i3 dash that is i1 dash current is divided as i2 dash plus i3 dash so i3 dash is equal to i1 dash minus i2 dash so i1 dash minus i2 dash as i1 dash current is divided into i2 dash and i3 dash so the currents are calculated i1 dash i2 dash and i3 dash 
now we take the circuit to having the voltage source v2 only here the voltage source v2 only then what be the current now considering the circuit to be to be having v2 only means that is we remove v1 we remove v1 by short circuit by short circuit then i2 double dash here the current i2 double dash is equal to v2 divided by effective resistance as r1 r3 are connected in parallel r1 r3 plus that with series r2 and the current i1 double dash this is i1 double dash it is i2 double dash into r3 divided by r1 plus r3 r1 plus r3 that is the effective resistances also i3 double dash look here i2 double dash is divided into i1 double dash and i3 double dash so i3 double dash is equal to i2 double dash minus i1 double dash so i3 double dash is equal to i2 double dash minus i1 double dash now using the superposition theorem what we have here using superposition theorem using superposition theorem that is the current in case of i3 current in that column i3 is equal to the effective current through that column in this direction the current will be i3 dash in this direction the current will be i3 dash so the superposition way it will be i3 dash plus i3 double dash that is i3 dash plus i3 double dash next for i2 means current through that column current direction i2 dash this way current direction i2 double dash that, that the opposite way so effective current through that column be i2 dash minus i2 double dash and i1 current in this branch here direction of current here direction of current are opposite so i1 dash minus i1 double dash so by using the superposition theorem we evaluate the current through all these branches remember a point here that superposition theorem can't be applied to non linear network it can't be applied for non linear network for long non linear network the superposition theorem cannot apply it and if we case as alternating current network in case of 
superposition theorem the current be the phasor sum of the currents is taken into consideration. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand one of the network theorem that is superposition theorem its statement and how we apply that superposition theorem these are the steps we have to follow to apply superposition theorem that be a that be an electrical network and we use the superposition theorem to calculate the respective currents through these branches. And uh, an important point as you can't apply for non-linear network to that given theorem. Superposition theorem can't apply for non-linear network. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.